Zebulon, Manasseh, uh, uh, Gad, Ephraim, Issachar, any of the tribes, man. Any of them. All right? They're going to be redeemed, man. This is our book. This is our history, man. And the saints are going to receive back what was taken from them. We uh, had our brothers here in America. And you devils took this land from our brothers. But fuck this land. We want this world, man. We gonna get this world, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now that's payback. That's righteous payback. That's what you call righteous compensation. Okay? To hell with all you heathens, man. Okay? I don't give a damn if, 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 if you think that because you have a palace somewhere in Persia, or you got a palace somewhere in Africa, you got a mansion somewhere in Europe, somewhere in America, you think you better than Israel? You out of your damn mind, man. The lowest Israelite on this earth is better than the highest Edomite in this earth. Okay? He's greater than the greatest Edomite in this earth, man. Okay? Because we're the Lord's people. And the Heavenly Father is going to put our people back in their right mind. See, right now, our people are just lost. Our people need some help, man. Our people need a deliverer. But the Heavenly Father, he's going to redeem Israel through his son. The nation of Israel through his, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You can believe that. All right? Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Okay? Now, those within the house of David, that's speaking of the elect. And it's spiritual because this sign here, it says David's. When I first started teaching out here, I didn't teach out here with the intentions of having this sign in my video off what I recall. I remember I watched the video back and I acknowledged the sign behind me. And I was like, wow, through the spirit, you know, I might as well just start teaching there. It says David's. Now... I don't know if I'm of the house of David. I have no clue. I might be a two-third. I might be the, the worst prophet to ever teach. I might be the 144,000th brother. I might not even be a part of the 144,000. I might just be the, the other men and, and, and women and children of the elect. I don't know, okay? But those of the house of David, as it says here, David's, they're going to receive salvation first and through the house of David, the elect, the rest of the nation are going to be saved, are going to be redeemed. Okay? That's order. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world begun, that we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. And that's what we're waiting on, man. We have to be saved from our enemies, man, because our people, we're hated by every single nation of people on this earth, man. And it's old, I I'm, I'm sick of it, man. Like, these nations, you can be an Israelite, you can be making more money than a heathen, and they still look down upon you like you ain't nothing, man, okay? These nations don't respect you. I don't care how many so-called uh, Caucasian friends you have or how many so-called Arab friends you have. They don't like you. And if they like you, you better believe they family don't like you. Okay? And even if they family liked you, it doesn't change the fact that they are heathens. They're not going to be saved. They're not going to be delivered. They're going into slavery to serve a thousand years, okay? And when Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai delivers us from these heathens, he don't give a damn if the heathen likes Israel or not. We're going to be delivered from every single one of you heathens, man. Every last one of you, we are going to be delivered from. Because every last one of you 
are the enemy of Israel. Okay? So we're just waiting on our Lord Yahweh Shai patiently. Okay? And although we're waiting on our Lord patiently, this is a race. But this is a race that you have to run with patience. Okay? In fact, let me get that right quick. One, it's in the book of Hebrews. second okay I think it just came to me it might be Hebrews 12 Lord willing this Bible here these pages are super super thin you know so it'd be hard to turn these pages Okay, this is Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. Because, see, in this kingdom, man, wickedness surrounds us. No matter where you go, wickedness is right there, man. It's like wickedness is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from you. You look up and you see a woman you're attracted to, you just committed adultery. Because there's a good chance she has a man at home, okay? You trying to go and order something from a restaurant, tr trying to uh, uh, prevent yourself from eating pork, but what you're eating has pork juice on it. Because the meal or two meals before the meal you ate, they cooked something for a customer that needed pork, some kind of pork item. So you just sin, okay? You might be at work, and it's the Sabbath. Typically, you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath. That would be considered a sin, okay? But that's why we need grace and mercy, because we're in a society where sin, where wickedness, where all these things, the, the temptations surround us. So we have to know that. We have to be circumspect. We have to have our eyes open to that, man. We have to acknowledge those things. Because if you're living a carefree life, thinking everything is okay, you're not in the right spirit, man. Okay? Wherefore, seeing, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every way and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So yes, this is a race, but this race isn't for the swift. This race is for the patient. You have to have endurance, and you have to have patience. This isn't about, let's see how fast you can run, then just burn out. This is about patience, man. Okay? And if you don't have the patience, if you can't pace yourself, you're not going to survive in this truth. Okay? You can't be uh, pushing 30, 40, 50 videos every single day because you'll burn yourself out. Okay? You can't uh, come into this truth and only be in this truth for three years and then think you know every single mystery or coming to this truth for, for three years, even as long as I've been in the truth, which is not that long, okay? But as long as I've been in this truth, I can't expect to know every single scripture at the top of my head. I can't expect 
to know every single breakdown just back to back to back to back at the top of my head. There's things I might forget. I might be taught something and it might come up again and I might forget the breakdown, man. I'm, I'm a man, okay? But I'll say this as well. I can admit my flaws. I can admit, I, I can admit my setbacks, okay? I have a hard time remembering scriptures, but I have notes to, to help me out when I do forget. But then there's times where I just go in the spirit and I can remember scriptures. So it kind of varies. But nevertheless, we have to pace ourselves, okay? I want to be greater in this truth in terms of I want to learn. I want to increase more. I want to be better than what I was yesterday. But I know this isn't a race for the swift. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. Anyone who's higher ranked than me, I don't want to pass them in rank, okay? Anyone who's higher ranked than me, I respect them as being heads over me. And I'm fine with that. Because like I've stated, as the scripture stated, really, this race, you have to be patient. Okay? Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beget us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So we have to set aside, set aside all things that can distract us from walking this path. We have to set aside all things that can hinder us. We have to set aside all things that, that fight against us, man, which is way too many things to count. We can't even number all the things that we have to face day by day, okay? This world don't give a damn about us, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? We on our own out here, man, all right? Ain't no point of trying to focus on these women. Ain't no point of trying to focus on being rich and wealthy. Ain't no point of, of trying to be the greatest prophet in Israel, man. All we need to do is push the word the best that we can Keep it as simple as possible so people can understand, okay? And hope that we're the elect, all right? going to jump to the book of Proverbs now. This is the book of Proverbs 29. 20, 29 and 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. So you Edomites, you're proud. You damn devils, man. You think you're so much greater than my people, man. Everything that you have right now is a lie. Everything that you have in this society is stolen possessions. Typically, every last one of you Edomites are criminals because you stole this land from my brothers and my sisters of the tribe of Gad, man, of the tribe of Reuben. Okay? You even had some of this card down here. Okay? You devils haven't gave back what you stole. Not only have you stolen the land that you're on, you've stolen the people on this land. You stole the Negroes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay? You stole the Latinos, man. 